Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install, configure, uh, and use WinLetter X on your Android device. Uh, with this WinLetter, you can actually install uh, computer softwares, Windows softwares uh, of your choice, as long as you have a device that has 6 GB of RAM and above, and preferably has a Snapdragon or Mali Omali GPU chipsets. Uh, with further, without further ado, uh, let's go. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, you are going to go to any of your browser and input in WinLetter. WinLetter X. You are going to input WinLetter X, and then this GitHub. This is the official developer of WinLetter X. Uh, this is the official developer of WinLetter X. Now, what you do? Uh, you scroll down where you see releases you tap on it after tapping on releases yeah you scroll down and then we are going to download this uh WinLetter x v2 point hotfix yeah then you tap on it yeah of course you tap on it there as you can see after tapping on it you scroll down as you can see this uh, as you can see these ones, this APK, you are going to download this APK. Uh, uh, then, <coughs> uh, please make sure you have joined our Telegram group or our Telegram channel. Uh, of course, the APK, you, you will find it there. And also, you will, be, you will have an opportunity to discuss anything that you want to ask from there. Now, after downloading this APK, yes, of course, you look for it where it is. You look for it. Mine, it is. Uh, it is in downloads. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you can see it is here. Tap on it, and tap on install. As you can see, it is trying to install. Yeah, tap on install. Now, when it brings you to this page, just tap on more details and then install anyway. I'm not going to install because I already have it on my device now. Let's just go straight to configuring it. Yeah. Uh, as you see, my win letter has been installed here. Let us tap on it and set it up. Now, when you launch it for the first time, of course, it will bring you to this uh, page. What you do is tap on use now. Uh, for your case, this this page is going to be blank. For your case, this page here is going to be blank totally. This will not be there. Yes. And now what you do, you tap here and then come to settings here. Yeah? You tap on settings first, yeah? As you can see, let us put it in full screen. Now, as you can see here, yeah? Here, you choose the color of the cursor from here. I have chosen that one. Then you scroll down here, where it is said preferably input API. You put on both, yeah? Both. Here, as you can see at the box version here. Let us see. Wait. Here, the box version here box version here uh, you are going to just tap here and then and then choose 3.0.3.5 .3 and then here box box preset you are going to choose performance yeah you scroll down scroll down yeah i think that is that then you tap on this okay yeah after tapping on okay after tapping on okay yeah then uh, still this will be blank you tap on the plus for your case you tap on plus when you tap on plus this uh, this page is going to appear after tapping on plus now here on the name give it a name you want to be Yes, here after tapping on plus, rename your device, then screen size. Screen size, you can choose this particular one, yeah? It is 120, yeah? It's 120 by 720. 1280 by 720. Now, if you have a device, yeah? Here, when it comes to here. Uh, When it comes to here, here, graphic driver, if you have a phone with a Snapdragon, choose Tanip, yeah? 
choose this particular turnip uh, but if your phone uh, if your phone doesn't have a, a snapdragon chipset what you do is you are going to choose this vigil universal or vortex yeah uh, then the D this uh, DX wrapper you are going to put it into that DX VK you are going to put it to to, to DX VK then for audio driver we are going to choose uh, we are going to choose this pulse audio yeah we are going to choose that uh, the, you can leave the rest as they are then for an important you you tap on here advance here you put on advance then here box pre box 64 64 preset you're going to put it to you're going to put it to performance yeah you're going to put it to performance scroll down here where it is says uh startup select startup selection here we are going to put it to aggressive yeah we are going to put it to aggressive then window version here window version we are going to choose 10 yeah then what we do we are going to tick all of these we are going to tick them all after ticking them all we tap on okay yeah we tap on that now uh which we start it of course we are going to start it by tapping here we are tapping on the play as you can see it is starting up yeah when it starts up this is how it's going to look like yeah and now for me I've, as you can see i've already installed softwares i've installed virtual dj8 i've installed serato uh, and others but for you <coughs> uh what you do in order to install any software first of all uh, make sure you have moved that save that software in your download folder on your phone yeah make sure you have put it on your phone as in the, in the download folder now from the win letter here your software will be in d as i can tap here uh, as you can see here are the softwares that i have uh, let me show you yeah these are the softwares that i have i have the here virtual dj as you can see, I have this this virtual DJ8. You double tap on it. Let me show you how it is. Uh, yeah, you double tap on it, and then tap on next, and then here uh, you can tap on change whatever next next, and then just follow instruction to install it. Uh, I want to be able to go through that. Uh, but if you have any question, please join our Telegram group. Yeah. <coughs> join our telegram group it's where we do chatting from yeah you'll be able to chat and ask anything that you want to ask now let me try let me tap on it and we see if it is working perfectly of course double tap on it this is our virtual dj8 you double tap on it now after double tapping on our virtual dj8 it will bring you here <coughs> it will bring you to install a gecko installer of course tap on install here yeah and now if it brings up this unexpected whatever tap on okay yeah when it taps on okay you first leave it uh, some moment give it time to first load some yeah give it time to load this dialog what you do here you tap here this is a public mm -hmm. shared computer and then tap on don't ask again here don't ask again and then close it yeah close it now as you can see our virtual dj8 is perfectly working uh, uh i told you in order to use it well you first have to you have to move music in your download folder from here it will be the d yeah these are the music that i have there i can load videos yeah as you can see videos are loading yeah yes you have seen videos are loading yeah videos of course are loading let me first minimize a little bit yeah as you can see i've minimized it let me move it a little bit there yeah let us try to play video and we see this is a phone you remember it's a phone let us play video
Yes, yeah, so you have seen uh it's working perfectly. The video it is mixing our videos. This is Virtual DJ 8 in Win Letter X. Now to turn on uh, to turn on music and maybe play using uh four decks. Of course, what you do is you tap here, two decks, whatever. You tap there and then tap on four decks. The four decks are going to load. Yeah, as you can see, our four decks have already loaded, right? Let us try to play music there. Audio. Of course, there the audio is loading. Yes, let us try to move this here. And then this on the third one. Yes, yeah, you can see music has loaded on all the three. Uh, this one you can also use this. Yeah, let us try to play. As you have seen, that one is playing. Let us try this one. Let us try this. As you have seen, that is also playing. Let us play this. It's also working perfect. Remember, this is a phone. Please uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give a thumb up and yeah, make the channel grow so that uh, we can we can produce a lot of videos that will be helpful to you. Yeah.